This is Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for October 2nd, 2020. Corn market down three, beans down two and three quarters, Chicago wheat up three, Minneapolis uh, uh, down about three and a quarter, Kansas City up three. So really kind of a mixed trade here for the grain markets. Uh, we saw the markets fade as uh, known news of President Trump, uh, COVID came to fruition, but overall we're kind of uh, just stuck here for the moment at some key levels here. On the week we saw corn up 14 and a half, beans up 18 and a quarter, Chicago wheat up 29, Minneapolis uh, up just a half a cent and Kansas City up 34 and a quarter. Uh, so we're at these 380 price counts in corn. That's a second price count. We've got 394 and 409 big resistance if we were to try to get up. We've got 361 as major support right now. And we're just kind of stuck in this lull here for a moment. We do expect harvest pressure to pick up. That may put some pressure on basis here, even though it's been narrowing as of late. We're not in a very, very big corn harvest yet. So as that harvest picks up over the next two, three, four weeks, we look for basis levels to widen out, spreads to grow here, and also maybe a little pressure on the futures price thereafter. A lot of wild cards coming at us, and we're all aware of them. South American weather, China, as well as the election uncertainty, COVID, uh, they're all there. For the bean market, uh, as we set up 18 and a quarter there, and 1045 to 1053, the major resistance, 985 support, and that'll culminate the range for at least now. And beans probably have far bigger wild cards coming here with that South America uh, weather taking shape here as we work ahead. As you look to feeder cattle down 102 and a half on the day on Friday, live cattle down 35, hog market up 35 to down 35 on the week, feeders down 42 and a half, lives up 60, hogs up 275. Uh, chopping the feeder cattle due to the strength in corn, cash trade for live cattle, one uh, to two dollars higher, 104 to 109 live base, 167 dressed. Uh, great export sales this week, uh, really nice to see and it got us current with the pace from last year. Uh, cutouts were steadily increasing here this week and we'll kind of watch these resistance counts. Uh, Dees cattle struggling to get over this 113 and that's exactly where they had problems here last time. Cash hogs on the other hand, uh, also firmish, uh, looking at that $77 level right now. Pork cutout uh, was higher, exports were solid with Mexico uh, having the big demand this week. And really we're stuck here at the second price count there as well. So kind of a resounding tone here for a lot of these markets, very good progressive nature on getting to these higher levels, but struggling to come up with the next bit of news, at least for now to extend. And we need to kind of be marketing along the way here. So really take that focus and look to your risk management. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexander, Minnesota, trading on futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great weekend.